Horse Geeks, Me Inside Freaks Alike. It is me, Brown Dragon Eggsy, and oh boy, do I love myself some Halloween. It's my personal favorite holiday, and it's the one time of the year we get to get our spook on and get some candy. There's some people trick or treat, others go to Halloween parties, and others spend their time watching movies they associate with Halloween. But at the same time, what constitutes a good Halloween movie? Is it the aesthetic? The thrill of being scared? Is it both? Well, I personally believe in that in a general sense, it would be a good movie that will get you into the Halloween spirit, even when it's not Halloween, because dang, they're just that good. <laughs> so with that being said, in this video, I'll be cutting down the best movies that all of you can watch that can ooze out that spooky charm, the creepy vibe, and just put you in the Halloween spirit. Now, first, keep in mind, this list is not exhaustive, and it's just for fun, okay? So, think of this list as, like, movie suggestions for you to watch on Halloween, if you don't do that already. Or, heck, if you haven't watched any of these movies in their entirety, maybe you could just consider watching them. They're really fun. So, another thing to bear in mind is that there will be a few rules to this list. So, for slasher movies in particular, they will be included on this list, of course. However, no more than four franchises or series will be on this list in total. And to keep that in mind, there's also another rule here. Rule number two, there will only be one movie per franchise slash series on the list. That is, however, if there is a franchise. If it's just a standalone movie with no sequel, it might just appear. It's just that there's so many of these slasher movies, and I don't want all of them to take up the entire list. And then we have rule number three. For the slashers that don't appear on the official list, 1 through 15, they might just appear in the honorable mention section. So just gotta keep in mind that earlier second rule, all right? Thank you. Oh, and one last thing. That's probably the biggest rule. If the movie is set during Halloween or the story is centered around a holiday, the higher it will be on the list. Now, let's get to counting down the movies, shall we? Coming in at number 15 is The Craft. What better than start off with a movie that has Halloween's most iconic symbol, witches? This movie delivers with its colorful use of the occult practice of witchcraft and all the havoc that ensues when teens get their hands on it. It has a really good grasp on showing the supernatural shenanigans that the group of friends get into as they get sucked into using their powers. I mean, what else is there to say about this movie other than it can get you into a good witchy headspace? At number 14 is Ghostbusters. Because nothing screams Halloween like a bunch of ghosts. Or at least a group of, let's say it with me now. The film follows the iconic ghostbusting friends as they seek to hunt down ghosts in New York after they lose their jobs, of course. We get to see the ghosts one by one as they wreak havoc over New York. With some really cool special effects, mind you. Or at least for the time. However, it still doesn't take away from the overall paranormal peril that appears in the climax when that portal above opens. With a really great cast that has a lot of chemistry together, you'll be in for a funny and hauntingly good time. And number 13 is Scooby-Doo on Zombie Island. Now, even though this movie is technically geared to a more younger audience, or just people who grew up with the Mystery Gang, and this movie still has a lot to offer for people both new and old to the franchise. For one, this movie marks one of the first times the, the characters face actual monsters in the form of zombies. The movie also has a killer soundtrack with Terra Time Again and The Ghost Is Here, which go just so hard to get stuck in your head. Another real good aspect of the movie are the visuals, which are a lot darker and has a big focus on making the background appear very creepy and sinister which overall gives it a really spooky atmosphere. This is especially the case where we see literal corpses being reanimated and, well... Also the reverse. Yeah. This is the one Scooby-Doo movie you'd want to put on to get some good atmosphere and a good mystery. At number 12 is Friday the 13th. 
Now, this movie offers the mess when it comes to mass killers and serving up a buffet of brutal kills. This series as a whole, but most of this movie, stands out as being one of the most prolific slasher movies alongside others. The film takes advantage of the special effects it uses for its gory kills and the surrounding forest to make you very uneasy. It also has a near indestructible, undead killing machine as a killer whose iconic hockey mask instills fear in those who dare to take a late night swim up in a certain lake. At number 11 is Paranorman. A real great treat for those who like stop motion animation, Paranorman has it all. A great story about a young boy who can talk to the dead and the effects it has on his home and school life. The movie itself does a great job at showing that not everyone is accepting of what they perceive to be different and the ramifications it has for the town. The film has really cool and dark visuals when it shows off the various skills he communicates with and it just adds to the spooky charm. Not to mention it has a really heartfelt message about accepting people who are different. With a balance between a gripping story and heart, it earns this spot on the list. At number 10 is Scream. Oh boy, Scream. A good classic. Because if you're not afraid of a dream demon with your innermost nightmares, it will definitely be the raspy deep voice you hear from your phone on a dark night right when you're home alone. This movie offers a great air of suspense whenever a phone rings, as well as the mystery of who lies behind the famous ghost mask. Not to mention the great acting and the ongoing gripping story of Sidney Prescott. This is one of the movies and even a series to watch if you want to have a good time with a group of friends and go cheer on the protagonist. Going into ninth place is A Nightmare on Elm Street. Ah yes, everyone's favorite dream guy. The iconic bladed glove strikes fear while the fedora gives him a sense of style as he kills when you sleep. This movie is rather interesting as it balances psychological horror with the kills of a slasher film. Nancy and her friends are left wondering what happened to their friend Tina while uncovering the mystery of the Springwood slasher all the while trying to figure out if they're asleep or not. This movie really keeps you guessing whether Nancy and her friends are dreaming or not, and for that added psychological factor, it places itself in the ninth spot. At number 8 is Goosebumps. Now we're going into the movies that center around Halloween. This movie is about the famous monsters from R.L. Stein's books leaping off the pages and into the real world on a Halloween night, where they must be sealed away into their books once again. We get to see the various monsters that R.L. Stein created literally come to life with some CGI, practical effects, and even some really cool puppetry skills for the dummy. I mean, Ventriloquist puppet. He's a puppet. <laughs> Uh, anyways, uh, even though this movie is a bit more on the lighter side and for fans of the Goosebumps series, it still brings a lot of spooky charm to it, and the movie overall is a delight for everyone to watch. At number 7 is Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. On the opposite side of the spectrum from Goosebumps, this movie goes into full horror movie mode with the events. And speaking of the events, the main character's get the stories from within the books centered around them, which are so cool to see unfold. On top of that, we get some really terrifying imagery in the form of the monsters that looked like they were ripped straight out of the book with some amazing effects. Like, literally, it's insane. With its disturbing imagery and some really frightening scenes and sequences, it surely writes itself into this spot. And number six is... The Nightmare Before Christmas. Okay, so forgetting about the angel debate about whether this movie is for Halloween or Christmas, which by the way it's for both because both is good, you can't argue about the stunning visuals and overall creepy look that this movie has. It looks so grim with the nearly gothic look of Halloween Town, coupled with the various monsters, ghosts, and witches that gives it a lot of life. As we see Jack Skeleton create a twisted version of Christmas, we're treated with a bunch of catchy songs and a colorful cast of creepy characters that have remained iconic throughout the years. So much to the point that the Haunted Mansion at Disneyland gets a complete makeover for the season. So, with its great songs and characters, this movie is a real treat to watch on Halloween. And number five is Monster House. Even though this movie isn't really all that scary, it sure scared a lot of people when they were younger. 
the creepy motion capture gives a really uncanny vibe to the animation. Coupled with the mystery behind how the house came to life, it offers some really nice lighter spooks for the soul for Halloween. Not only that, but this movie also has a good balance between the story about the house coming to life, which reaches its climax during Halloween, and some actually heartfelt moments about letting someone go when they die. And for an added touch, it really cements its spot into fifth place. Now coming at number four is Halloween Town. Now with a tile like this, how could it not be this high on this list? This movie is centered around not only some witches, but also the fictional location of Halloween Town. So this movie follows some kids who find out they've actually come from a family of witches, but not only that, they must save their world from an evil that's arising. This movie, of course, has a real ha Halloween and fall vibe to it, which makes it really ideal. And to top it off, it also has a variety and a unique cast of monsters and supernatural creatures to see within Halloween Town. With some nice visuals and a Halloween-themed town, this movie places itself in fourth place. Breaking out number three is Hocus Pocus. Now we're on to a movie where the witches are the bad guys. This movie oozes down its spooky charm through the antics of the Sanderson sisters who come to wreak havoc and consume some children. Taking place during Halloween, the sisters must be stopped before all the children are eaten. This movie screams Halloween with its witchy vibes, dark nature of eating and killing children, as well as having a staple black cat at the center of its story. This movie is perfect to watch on Halloween night with all the lights off and a few candles to match the mood. It just make sure there's no black candles and a virgin among your friend group. Other than that, you're bound to have a good time with this film, which is why it's at third place. Next at number two is Trick or Treat, a Halloween movie that centers around keeping true to the Halloween spirit and never breaking tradition. What more could you want from a movie like this? This movie takes the viewers onto a ride of a total of five interwoven stories that ultimately come to a satisfying conclusion. This movie has a spooky atmosphere as well as some very good effects to boot. And not only that, but it's super Halloween centric, as it focuses on keeping traditions alive and embracing the fun side of Halloween. This movie's focus on the spirit of Halloween is what gives this movie second place. And of course, before getting to the number one spot, we have to go over the honorable mentions, which are the movies that are listed here on the screen. Sorry if the movie you like it didn't get to be on the list, but of course, this is just for fun. Also, yes, there's a lot of other movies, but that'd be way too much to list for the honorable mentions. With that being said, we need to get to the number one spot. And finally, the number one movie is Halloween. Now, Trick or Treat may be more fun, but this movie represents the more sinister side of Halloween. With a simplistic name and an iconic slasher killer who predates even Jason, and this movie was bound to make it the first place, okay? The movie follows the notorious Michael Myers as he escapes the grasp of being incarcerated by law, as he instead continues to lurk around Haddonfield to kill more people. And of course, taking place on Halloween, it gives it the extra little spooky factor to watch it during the exact holiday. This movie is such an iconic masterpiece that it basically sets in place the very foundations of a core slasher. I mean, mask? Check. Murder weapon? Check. A fascinating backstory? Check. And most importantly, a killer who stands the test of time and scares multiple generations? A definite check. With amazing cinematography, brutal kills in a sinister atmosphere, and an iconic killer, this movie deserves its spot as the number one movie to watch during Halloween. I hope you all enjoyed this video and the list. It was pretty fun to put together. I hope most of you have seen at least a good chunk of these movies as their classics. Also, what other movies get you into the Halloween spirit? If you have any others that didn't make it on the official list or the honorable mentions, please comment down below so others can add it to their Halloween watch list. With that in mind, I hope you all have a good spooky Halloween. This is Van Dragon Nixie, wishing you a happy Halloween and signing off.